Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. NASA and its International Space Station partners announced the crews of three upcoming missions to the ISS. The crews include three NASA astronauts. In May 2016, Kate Rubens will join the Expedition 48 crew already in orbit. Shane Kimbrough will follow on Expedition 49, and veteran astronaut Peggy Whitson will serve on Expedition 50. NASA astronaut Reed Wiseman, who developed a strong social media following as a member of the Expedition 4041 crew last year, was on hand for several public events February 10th through 12th in and around his hometown of Baltimore. Among those events was a ceremony at the historic courthouse in Towson, where representatives of Baltimore County presented him with a hero pin. Wiseman also spoke to visitors at the Maryland Science Center in Baltimore about his experience aboard the space station. NASA Associate Administrator for Science John Grunsfeld is one of four space shuttle astronauts selected for induction into the United States Astronaut Hall of Fame. The induction ceremony is scheduled for May 30th at NASA's Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Florida. Grunsfeld is best known as a robotics expert who conducted three missions to repair and upgrade the Hubble Space Telescope. Steve Lindsay, Kent Rominger, and M. Ray Satan are the other astronauts selected for induction. After spending a month at the International Space Station, the SpaceX Dragon cargo spacecraft was separated from the station on February 10th with the Canadarm2 robotic arm and released for its return trip to Earth. Dragon, which completed the company's fifth commercial resupply mission to the station, brought back almost two tons of vital scientific experiments and station hardware. And liftoff, the Falcon takes flight. The Deep Space Climate Observatory, or DISCOVER satellite, was launched on February 11th aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. The mission, a partnership between NOAA, NASA, and the U.S. Air Force, is designed to orbit the sun at the L1 Lagrange point, a stable neutral gravitational part of space about a million miles from Earth, and give accurate early warnings of solar activity that could potentially wreak havoc on systems and infrastructure on Earth and avionics on aircraft. The spacecraft also carries two NASA Earth science instruments to advance our understanding of our home planet. In recognition of African American History Month, NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden spoke at a February 9th Federal Emergency Management Agency event in Washington about the contributions of African Americans in public service and the role of emergency preparedness throughout his professional career. Two days later, the administrator gave a lecture at the district's MLK Memorial Library about the challenges facing African Americans in science, technology, engineering, and math-related fields. 10 Things You Don't Know About the NACA, a February 10th presentation at NASA headquarters featuring the agency's chief historian, Bill Barry, highlighted little-known facts, fascinating photos, and other interesting details about the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, NASA's predecessor, which was founded nearly 100 years ago on March 3, 1915. The NACA became NASA in 1958. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov twan.